what role does your diet and lifestyle play in cancer recurrence? Here is what you need to know. Now is the time to take charge of your health, focus on your wellness and swear off unhealthy habits such as fast foods and a sedentary lifestyle. Research shows that the best formula for starving off another bout of cancer is proper nutrition combined with weight control and exercise. Exercise regularly. Exercising regularly improves fatigue symptoms, reduces stress and impacts long-term overall health. The 10-year survival rate is higher in patients who exercise regularly than in patients who do not. It is recommended that you engage in moderate exercise at least 3-5 to five hours per week. Maintain a healthy weight. Women who are overweight are more likely to have their breast cancer come back. Maintaining a healthy weight is something you can do to reduce your chance of recurrence as well as optimize your overall health. Reduce stress. Eat healthy. Eat a minimum of five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. A serving can be a cup of dark leaf greens or berries, a medium fruit or a half cup or other colorful choices. Phytochemicals also found in fruits, vegetables, legumes and grains are compounds that may thwart the action of carcinogens, cancer-causing substances, and aid in cells in blocking the development of cancer. Go for whole grains. Opt for high fiber breads and cereals, including brown rice, barley, bulgur, and oats. Avoid refined foods such as donuts and white bread and those high in sugar. Choose organic foods whenever possible. Wash produce thoroughly to minimize pesticide exposure. Limit red meat intake. Studies indicate that red meat promotes inflammation in human tissue. This inflammation is believed to stimulate the growth of cancerous tumors. Plant foods, on the other hand, contain antioxidants such as beta-carotene, lycopene, and vitamins A, C, and E, which protect the cells from free radicals. Unstable molecules that damage healthy cells are linked to aging and disease. Consume two to three servings of fish weekly. Fish high in omega-3 fatty acids such as salmon or sardines are especially beneficial. These fats in these fish are the good heart healthy omega-3 fats. Other sources of these fats include walnuts, canola oil, and flax seeds. Increase fiber intake. Avoid trans fat. Eat foods high in vitamin D. These include salmon, sardines, fortified orange juice, milk, and fortified cereal. Research suggests that vitamin D, which also comes from sun exposure, prevents cancer and may decrease the risk of recurrence and improve survival. People in regions with limited sunshine may be deficient and thus benefit from a vitamin D3 supplement. Ask your physician about a blood test to measure your deficiency. Food, not supplements, is the best source of vitamins and minerals. There is no evidence that a dietary supplement provides the same anti-cancer benefits as fruits and vegetables. And some high-dose supplements may actually increase cancer risk. Be mindful when eating. Research suggests that we tend to eat more calories in food with fewer nutrients when we are watching TV, driving, or doing other activities. Limit alcohol consumption. When we drink alcohol, it's turned into a chemical called acetaldehyde in our body. This happens mainly in the liver, but other cells and some bacteria in our mouths and gut can do this too. Acetaldehyde can cause cancer by damaging DNA and stopping our cells from repairing this damage. Keep up with all the scheduled screenings. Quit smoking. Poisons in cigarette smoke can weaken the body's immune system, making it harder to kill cancer cells. When this happens, cancer cells keep growing without being stopped. Report any physical changes to either your oncologist or primary care provider.